hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are older thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a flyer like this using adobe photoshop without any further i do let's get started over here i'm using 1080 by 1080 pieces and my resolution is 300 so let's get started i'm going to copy the Hence code I'm going to use in this tutorial. So over here is the code Ctrl plus C to copy. Then go to your solid column. Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to create a new layer. Select your brush. Then increase it using the bracket. Then I will click over here. Then you can use the bracket also then again to reduce the size of the brush. Now I'm going to my blending mode and change it to overlay. Then this is what you will have. All right. So after this one, now I'm going to create a rent angle at the bottom here. You leave the background color white. Okay. Now come over here. Then I'm going to import a background from my resource file. So I'm going to click on this one and import it all right so the next thing now i'm going to increase the size of the background like this then change the bloody mode then this is what you will have the next thing i'm going to bring in my test before the remaining background then i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your rent angle and click you drag it over here then select it and click on this warp and i'm going to raise this one drag it up like this then ctrl plus j to duplicate it and reduce this one So the first one, I'm going to apply this color. So when you click here, then automatically you, you copy the color, then make it dark. Then this one, reduce the size like this, reduce it like this. Then select this one, then go to your drop shadow. then and make use of this setting then my blending mode is normal opacity 100 and the distance 6 then the spread is 5 and the size is 9 then click ok select this one then select your warp again and over here i'm going to raise this one up all right so this is what you will have there then i'm going to import the church logo reduce the size then i'm position it over here now select it all hold your shift key while you select and reduce the size okay then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste and I'm going to change the font to Railway. Then make it bold. Reduce the font size. Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then go back to your test document. And I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy select your test to highlight it ctrl plus a then ctrl plus v to paste now increase the font size something like this then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j then you drag it up and you bring this one down ctrl plus a to highlight it then ctrl plus c to copy your test 
control plus v to paste now i'm going to duplicate this one control plus j to duplicate and i'm going to bring this one over here then select your test tool control plus a to alight it then come over here to copy your test control plus c to copy then control plus v to paste now increase the font size and i'm going to change the font to this font name here so i'm going to copy the font then Ctrl plus V to paste over here and you will see the font automatically then you select it then increase the font size then change the font color and I'm going to use this code FFB401 so to apply this yellow or orange color then I'm going to copy my test again now Ctrl plus C to copy this one. Select your test tool. Then change the font to Font Spring Demo. Ctrl plus V to paste. And change the font color to white. Then make it bold. Now drag it up here. Then bring it down. Let the praise be above. Then increase the font size. And you bring it down like this. Then come over to your test document and copy this one. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one. We bring it over here then select your test tool and highlight it ctrl plus v to paste now increase the font size so on this one now i'm going to apply a stroke then change the stroke color to black and increase it to four percent so anyone you want you can use either three percent or four percent then you click ok then you will have something like this you can bring this one down all right then go back to your test document to copy this one now select your rent angle drag from here to this position then change the color to red now go to your property then remove the link and i'm going to apply a shape to the rent angle at the corner by 20 pieces and over here 20 pieces something like this then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste and change the font to railway then make it bold and change the font color to white Then you position it over here and increase the font size then hold your shift key and reduce this one select the two then apply horizontal and vertical alignment then copy your team Go back to your rent angle. Then you draw a rent angle like this. 
then you enter a shape again i'm going to use 63 percent by 63 percent on this one then you will have something like this so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to remove the fill column and apply stroke column then increase it by 3% or 4% any one you want then I will bring this one down like this then hold your shift key while you select your test and I'm going to increase the size okay then select the press and apply a drop shadow use the same setting then you click ok now go back to your rent angle and i'm going to draw a rent angle like this use your arrow key then to bring it down Then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm going to use the font, font spring demo. Then change it to regular. Also, I'm going to change the font. Then click here to copy this color background or any of this. I would prefer this one. Now. Position it here and reduce the size. Then hold your shift key and reduce the size of the rent angle. Then come over to your test document and copy this one. Ctrl plus C. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the color by clicking here to copy this color over here. Now change the font to railway. Then make it extra bold. Increase the font size. Then go back to your test document and copy this one. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font to white as the font color. Then I'm going to change the font to font spring. Then make it bold and increase the font size. Align it to match with the up one. Something like this. Then click on this one using your arrow key then to drag it up to greater space. So having done this one now, so the next thing I'm going to draw a rent angle again like this. Then I will apply this red column. Then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Double click. Then I will darken the column. Then apply layer mask. Select your gradient tool or press G using your keyboard. Then hold your shift key while you drag it this way. Right. Then come over here to copy your test. Select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Change the font color to white. Then select your rent angle. You draw like this. 
then apply this dark red also apply your layer mask select the gradient tool then you blend like this okay come over to your test document and copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate you bring it down select your test tool ctrl plus a to alight it sorry for the noise in the background construction company are working on my streets now ctrl plus v to paste then increase the size like this okay so the next one now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you drag it up hold your shift key while you bring it down then hold your shift key then to drag it up now i'm going to apply a color from here when you click here then you copy the color automatically then i'm going to select this triangle then apply red color then hold your shift key while you rotate it and i will reduce the size then position it here okay then come over to your test document and I'm going to copy. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. So on this one now apply a layer mask. Select your gradient tool. Then and you blend it this way. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to my resource file and I will import this Facebook Live icon. Then you reduce it. Something like this. The last one is to copy the location. Then go to your resource file, the location icon. Okay, so over here, I'm going to bring in my location icon. Then you reduce the size. Then select your test tool. Change the color to black. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. I will break it over here. Reduce the font size. Then I will increase the space to 8%. Okay. So this area we are done over here. So we proceed to the other side, which is this side now. So go to your resource file and i will import this one over here reduce the size then you position it somewhere here it's okay all right now i'm going to select ellipse tool to draw a cycle cycle like this then apply black color Convert it to smart object. Go to your filter and uh, apply Gaussian blur. Then reduce it. 6% is okay. You can use your arrow key then to bring it down. Like this is okay. Then we proceed. Go to your resource file. And uh, over here, I'm going to make use of these two images. Then, I have removed the background of the image here. So, you can see the two images I'm going to use. Now, I'm going to drag this one to my design area. 
then reduce the size then apply your layer mask select your gradient to hold your shift key while you blend it okay then i will go back to my background and bring the second one reduce the size i will take this one back then why i will bring this one closer like this then apply layer mask select your gradient to hold your shift key while you blend it so these two images now i'm going to select them and bring it down below the fruits then go to your test document and i'm going to copy the test select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then change this one to medium and now we apply this color reduce the font size Ctrl plus C to copy, select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I will make this one bold or semi bold. Change the font color to white. Bold. Reduce the font size. And I will position it over here. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one. Select your test tool. Ctrl plus A to highlight it. Then you come over here to copy your test. Now Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the font size. Then use your arrow key then to bring it up. Now hold your shift key while you select it. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then I will position it like this and reduce the test. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate and bring it down over here. Then I will remove this one. Then use your arrow key then to take this one up. Select your test tool. Ctrl plus A to alight it. Then go back to your test. Copy this one. Ctrl plus C. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one. Ctrl plus A to alight it. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste. Increase the size. It's okay like this. Now hold your shift key. Select it. Then apply vertical alignment. Now select this one. Select your test tool, highlight it, and I'm going to change this one to minister in short form. Then hold your shift key while you select it. Now I'm going to increase the font size. Then use your arrow key then to adjust it something like this now we are going back to our resource file then over here i'm going to copy 
I mean to import this background image then drag it down to the background then position it around here you reduce the size this way it's okay then I'm going to change the worship image blending mode to linear dodge you can see it over here now apply your layer mask then you can select select your brush or gradient to anyone you want then i will blend it like this all right so the next thing now i'm going back to my resource file then i will select this one so that it will not go to the top again and now we import this one reduce the size position it somewhere here okay then this one i'm going to change the blending mode to luminosity and the opacity i'm going to reduce it to 40 percent then before i forget also this one i will reduce the opacity to 67 percent so you can see the difference now now i'm going to apply my layer mask then select brush and now we blend the edges here so this is the result of it now the next thing sorry the truck is coming back again sorry for the inconvenience of this noise okay so the noise has been reduced so i'm very sorry about that okay so the last thing now i'm going to do over here is to import this glow light effect and now we position it at the top here then change the blending mode to screen and i'm going to apply gaussian blur so blur it a little I think it's okay like this 20.8 percent then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j and now we bring it over here something like this okay now i'm going to reduce the boldness of this one to normal board and the time here change it to normal board then you can leave this one like this okay now i'm going to back to this image to bring it down like this why as well as i'm going to bring the name down like this and this image in the background i will bring it down like this and uh, increase it increase it like this okay something like this then this image i will bring it down something like this then this font here i'm going to change this one to font spring 
then why this one i will change this one to railway and make it bold all right then i will reduce the font size then this one i will increase it then use your arrow key to bring it down like this then and this one i will bring it reduce the size then use your arrow key to bring it down okay so that is it that is the end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video so that you will not miss any of my video and remember to share like thank you so much i really appreciate your following hello sorry i forget something which i think is very urgent to do now so then over here there is something i am supposed to do i forget so draw a cycle like this then apply red column then select your test tool then change the color to white and position it over here then you reduce the size so that is all thank you that is all i forgot thank you so much